What's up guys, it's Shrek, and we are ending our series on Nerf Elite Junior, at least for now, with the uh, the flagship package. So this comes to us straight down from Canada. My buddy uh, Dart Dad sent this down, and this is $28 US. So for 28 bucks, you get two blasters, you get the Cadet and the Scout Fire, both featuring ages six and up ergonomic features, such as small handles, large triggers, and wide auto retracting grips. Now this one is pump action and has two darts in the front. This one is a single shot, and uh, primes in the back. So let's uh, go ahead and get it out of the package. We will of course be reviewing them in tandem. Let's go. So I guess we'll lead with the Scout Fire. And I guess the only thing worth mentioning is that all of these have felt really solid so far, but can you guys, is that, I don't know if you'll get that in the uh, the blast review Asmar. My Scout Fire is really creaky. It's like the grip is not adequately attached to the, uh, the shell for the main body. And you know, between what happened with the uh, Explorer, I just imagine that the quality control on these is like a little lower than we're used to in the main lines, probably because you get away with that when you're giving them the children. Uh, and, you know, given everything that's going on in terms of quality control and profit margins at Hasbro, it would not surprise me if that's just acceptable tolerances these days. But uh, let's uh, go ahead and prime this. That was stiff. It was actually a a remarkably stiff prime. So yeah, it was, that was heavier than any of the other ones have been. Maybe because it's off kilter, I don't know. But then blasting, it is a single shot pistol. The grip is small, but it's supposed to be. The trigger is large enough to fit two fingers on. And then while this felt a little stiffer, perhaps that'll be reflected in the FPS here later. The front loading here is actually quite good. It's got that muzzle with the, uh, the kind of bezel, the taper into it. So that's pretty nice. Then uh, we have the Cadet over here. I've already loaded two darts into it. Uh, you can see this one has a far more like shotgun forward kind of vibe to it. Still pump action, getting you kind of used to that. The pump action is pretty good, although the ergonomics of this are different than the uh, the pump on the Voyager from the Nerf Elite Junior line, which had more of a curve to it and I felt like was overall better. However, if you have six-year-old hands, you're going to be able to fit all four of your fingers into this anyway, and it won't be that big of a uh, difference or an issue. It's, it's got good bonk to it. The, uh, the spring isn't super powerful, but it's going over a longer draw and that allows you to get a decent performance out of something that's still relatively easy to prime. Now, the one thing that I wanna mention about these because I've done a lot of reviews of all of the blasters in the Nerf Elite Junior line is that both of these are effectively reshells. So if you want to take a look here, the Scout Fire is a strictly worse version of the Flyer. It does not have the saddle down here to hold eight additional darts. And also its tolerances are just worse. And I don't think it looks nearly as good as the Flyer. And in the same vein, the Cadet is arguably a better version of the Voyager. They're both single shot. They're using the same muzzle mechanism mold here. I don't know if that's apparent, but I wish that both of them had concavity to them so you could uh, ease the darts in better. However, the Voyager has a better grip, but the overall ergonomics of the Cadet are better because I feel like you're not working around what is an objectively kind of weak stock. So back to the review at hand, uh, neither one of these are unique. And in truth, at a relatively expensive combo pack, it makes far more sense, in my opinion, to pick the ones that you want and purchase them individually. I think that the Flyer is a much better blaster than the, uh, the Scout Fire here, so I would highly recommend that over this one. And frankly, ergonomically, I like the Cadet more, but you can't get one without the other, so maybe it's a wash. Maybe just buy whatever you like or realistically what your six-year-old is most compelled by or interested in. Nevertheless, we'll take these outside and we will put them over the chronograph and get you guys some numbers so that you know how they stack up to other blasters. <whistles> dual wielding time. All right, so we're out here with the dual pack. That was unpleasant. That's my fault. I. Don't put, this is not designed for somebody that has fingers that can get in the way of the priming bar, but uh, I did it anyway. And then I guess if I can prime it with my pinky, even though it's a little stiff, it's not that bad. So let's put a couple over. Again, I'm pretty convinced that internally these are the exact same as the blasters that I mentioned previously. And by the time you're watching this video, those reviews should be live. So don't be shy, check out those reviews. You'll get a more in-depth take on both of the, uh, the mechanisms. But for the purposes of this dual pack, we've got 56 and 39. Oh yeah. What about the second shot off of the uh, off of the old cadet here? 44. So smart ARs a little funky in that regard. Again, you could get uh, more consistent results by checking out those other videos. I don't normally like telling people to do that, but these are going to chronograph pretty similarly 
across the board. We'll do a quick range test here, but before we do, we're gonna reduce this to our Elite Junior sort of range specification, bring it in a little bit tighter, uh, right there at about the 15 foot margin, and we'll even, we'll leave it uh, wobbly. It's what we call a dynamic or reactive target, right? There we go, one on. And that one fell a little short, what are you gonna do? But uh, again, my overall thoughts on this line in general are that they are pretty, pretty good with all of the context of being, these are designed for children to get into the hobby. And I think that they do an excellent job of that. Whoever did the, uh, the industrial design and the, uh, the measurements for like, what's the average size of a six-year-old's hand? Did a pretty good job of uh, sort of dialing in the ergonomics for these clearly had participated in enough market research to know what some of the hiccups are. They're all front loaders, which as I mentioned before, I'm a big fan of. Scout Fire is a little underperforming, I think. I think that you'd be better served with the flyer. However, I really do think that the Cadet is pretty good. So I'll set this one down, come into my pocket, see if I can get two more shots out of the uh, Cadet. But uh, my overall impressions of the line are good. I think that if you are invested in getting somebody in this age range into the hobby, this is a really, really good product to start them with. And in that sense, a great success. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it and you wanna learn more about the blaster sport, then uh, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, hang out with me, maybe even tap the bell. Much love, blast on, drag out.